hello everyone um, in this video we will see how to do the pagination on the fluent details list in the last video we have seen how to do the setup and add the records to the fluent details list component and how to add the columns and manipulate the uh, manipulate the columns there so in this video we will be uh, seeing the example how to do the paginations on the record in the fluent details list so here I have created the new canvas app I'm going to add the new component here uh, which is the fluent details list component and uh, here the source will be the collection which is uh, nothing but the account I'm using here so for that uh, I'm going to add the new button here to refresh my collection every time so I'll go to the input and add the new button uh, I'll just rename this as a uh, uh, refresh collection okay and on this selection of this one I want to I want to uh, I want to create the uh, collections of the account so on select of this one uh, before that I have already included the account uh, data set you can see here so I'm going to add the uh, create the new collection create clear collect and this is the account collections okay and then this is for the account records and uh, in so why I'm doing this because if I want to add the new columns then I can use this same button to add the new columns so let me add the new column also here because in the next video I will be utilizing that column for the uh, for the another type of video so I'm going to add the new clear collect and I'm going to name this as a account call updated and this will be adding the new column and uh, on the account collection column and the column name is uh, uh, I'm going to use the new fabric collection which is nothing but uh, post update so I'm going to if you search this URL on the internet and then you will find this icons fluent icon fabric icons so here on this one um, you will you can search the update then you will find the this icon post updates so I'm going to use this icon here so I'll copy the friendly name and going to put here account and this will be uh, update uh, icon update okay this is the uh, display name uh, oh, sorry the field name and uh, the it is the the container will be the icon which is nothing but post update so like that I have added now so this collection uh, account call updated I will be uh, mapping it as a source to the fluent details list grid here so to do that um, we can go to the items and you can add the items here account call updated so it has been added now to display the columns here we need to include these columns into the field list here so add here and then I'm going to include only the two fields as of now one is the name another is the icon which we have created okay so I have added it now uh, to display these uh, columns here we need to a uh, little bit add the column properties here of the column items so let's add it table okay and here the call name it is name field then call display name it is name and uh, call width I'm keeping it as a 250 and I'm going to make call sortable also to true okay so these are the few properties I'm going to include next column I'm going to add is call name and that is the icon name here so it is icon update right so icon update then call display name it is update record and then call with it is 200 okay so it has been included now so to view the result uh, we need to play the app and let's save it so before that I'm going to save first and then I will play the app
saved going to play so i'm going to refresh the collection so it will take some time to create the now you can see it has been displayed so uh, all the records which is present of the account type in the night mix so currently it is giving a lot of record but you can see i'm having the scroll well scroll kind of records here right so i want to convert into the pagination this is the motive of this video so to do that we are going to use the some properties of this uh, fluent details list to do that so first of all i'm going to add the new column here uh, so it's a, some of the fields i'm going to add here and uh, to do this uh, i'm going to add the new label and uh, another two labels so this will be uh, we can uh, we can say it is the uh, page uh, and here sorry uh, we have to page and uh, it will be the uh, total what is the index now what is the page number of this one so uh before the uh, before that we need to set one thing that is like how many records we want to display in the each uh, list here so that we can set it so example i'm going to set this here we are having one properties called the page size so here it is page size so i'm going to set this as a around 10 so i'm going to display 10 records in the per per page so i'm going to set it as a 10 so it is there so using that one the uh, the fluent details list the background it will convert into the number of pages out of total records which is displaying into this uh, grid so it will happen automatically we just have to use the uh, component uh, of the uh, of this fluent details list, the properties of this fluent details list to uh, uh, to you to make it as a pagination so here in this uh, in this list in this uh, label in this label i'm going to give the to first i'm going to make this as a total uh, page one of this one something like that so page i'm going to set uh, the fluent details list dot page number so you will see the page number then and of total and then i'm going to set this total page of which is it has converted so here it will be fluent details list dot total page so you will see the total page so like this it has converted so now you can see um it is displaying the total page as of now so going to delete this okay so it, it is uh, displaying the page one of total why because uh, still the this uh, page size has not converted so let me save this and when i'll play it again then it has to be converted correctly so So now you can see the 10 records are displaying into this grid and now i have total eight pages. it is converted by the fluent details list behind the logic and then it has given me the total eight pages and one page is what it is displaying now so we will add the few buttons here to display the next pages and the previous page and move to the first page also so for that i'm going to add the new buttons here the button three button i will add uh, one button for the previous one button for the next and one button to move into the uh, main, page, main page first page so i'll rename this previous page main page or first page first page and then this one will be the next page okay so it has been done so on this one uh, we need to uh, we need to add the few uh, for logic here so uh, we need to uh, there is one properties already present in this one uh, uh, this is called the previous and next page events we will have so we have to set the event here so uh, on the select of this button we are going to set one our variables and give going to give this name as a page uh, uh, page uh, grid event this is the name I'm calling it and the event name is load previous page 
and then we have to add the text random okay so like this so this is the you can copy this uh, this thing here so we have to make sure that we have given these uh, label this load previous page as it is with the upper case the lower case how it is there in the text so we have to keep it there so this ev this is bind to this event and here it will uh, with this event we will be using to the uh, input uh, we are having the input event so we will bind there so for that i'm going to do the same thing same thing we had to do for the uh, next uh, buttons also so in the first page so we'll have the uh, it's called the first page so we will mention first page and then coming to the next button we have we will give the next page the name here the event name we have to give keep the same this uh, the the event name what we are going to set here the page grid event we have to keep it the same name so it is there now it is done so i'll copy this name and we are having grid here and there's a one property called the input event here we'll add it so we'll just give this one so now we have bind that event to here okay so it should be working now but before that i'm going to add one label to show you some of the other properties which we can use you can be using for your event or your you know building more complex scenario if you have then you can utilize that one so the i'm going to add new label here and inside that level i will add the few more properties here so i'll just mentioning the total record that we can get it from the fluent details list so dot total record we can get it okay then i'm going to add the these one properties has uh, has previous so i'm going to say whether it has previous or not true or false it will result so just going to uh, see that also previous has previous so when it is have previous has true then which means we can move to the previous page it is like that then has next fluent details list dot has next so like that we'll see how it will display there okay so it is done i'm going to save it and play okay so it has been refreshed now you can see total interface and i have total 71 records by dividing um, by 10 we will have the total eight pages and the previous page is false but next page is true so when you click on next then you can see the next it is displaying the page now becomes two and then it has a previous page two which means we can move to the previous page and and it has next page two which we can move to the next page also so these properties will be set uh, by the fluent details list the the logic which is developed on that and uh, we can you can use these uh, uh, conditions if you want to build your complex uh, conditions to scenario there then uh, we can click on first page then it will load the first page so it will reset to the first uh, first trend records of that one so i think this is how we can achieve the pagination on the fluent details list it is very simple i hope this video was useful to you and thank you for watching this video guys